Welcome to Kaleido, the blockchain business cloud. We're going to take a quick high-level walkthrough of the Kaleido platform and see how easy it is to create your first enterprise-grade permissioned blockchain network and even deploy a smart contract and interact with it without any custom programming or blockchain expertise. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first action is to create our business network. We'll just go ahead and call this example network. And now we want to choose a home region for our network. This is going to whitelist the enumerated cloud provider and the underlying region. So we'll choose AWS in Ohio as our home region. And now we can turn this into a multi-cloud or multi-region environment by whitelisting additional cloud providers. And these will be available for us to deploy nodes and deploy resources. So here's the scaffolding for our business network. And now we can choose to build out the composition of the network in one of two ways. We can onboard external participants and embed permissioning and governance, or we can create multiple memberships. And this is a useful technique whether you're proxy operating resources on behalf of end entities or whether you're going to mimic out the future participation of your network. Quite useful for POCs and MVPs. So I'll create an organization called Organization XYZ. Click Add, and now I have a business network with two memberships. ABC is the founder and Organization XYZ as the subsequent membership. Now we want to create an environment. An environment in Kaleido is an isolated, firewalled namespace, and it is its own unique blockchain. And of course, you can have multiple environments within your business network. So you can have development, you could have staging, and ultimately you can have production. Choose the orchestration scheme for your environment, whether it's single region, where you'll be able to choose from any of your whitelisted clouds and regions, or whether you want it as multi-region, meaning when we create nodes and resources, these will all be available for us as deployment zones. Click Next, choose the node client and consensus algorithm, the protocol configuration for your environment. We have a hyperlink to help you learn more about the number of nodes and the performance and uh, throughput considerations. Click Finish, and now you've created the Genesis block for that environment. And we want to go ahead and bring it to life by creating some nodes. So we'll create node number one and bind it to the ABC membership, and we'll deploy it in AWS. We can choose to integrate some native cloud services, key management, backups, log streams, etc. And then we can choose the resource size for our node. This is correlated to the horizontal application scale that you envision and the amount of transactions or the throughput that's going to be coming into the network. So go ahead and click Finish and the node will take approximately 25 or 30 seconds to initialize. I'm going to create one more node to make our algorithm happy, and we will bind this node to organization XYZ, and we will deploy it in Microsoft Azure. Similarly, click Next, choose to integrate cloud services, choose the size of the node, and click Finish. And now, in approximately two minutes, we've actually created our consortium, our business network, and we've created a private permissioned enterprise Ethereum blockchain. So I'm going to hop back to my home view here, and we're going to look at a network that I've already created with live running nodes. So let's go ahead and view this network, and we're going to look at one technique to submit transactions on Kaleido. So here in our consortium view, we have a shared asset class, and within it we have contract projects. And what I've done is I've created a contract project and imported the source code from a public GitHub repository. So we're using a smart contract called Simple Storage, and Kaleido is going to expose simple RESTful endpoints for this smart contract and allow you to easily interact with it. So a piece of middleware that we have called ETHConnect allows applications to be developed not using heavy SDKs and client libraries, but simply submitting lightweight JSON payloads and allowing Kafka and Kaleido to do all of the sequencing and all of the submission of those transactions. Makes it very, very easy to quickly develop an application and focus on the business logic and the actual user experience. So first we're going to view our gateway API. This will be all of the methods in this smart contract. So we'll view the API through the lens of node number one. And now we see a swagger interface exposing the core methods in our smart contract, namely a set and a get. What we want to do is we want to turn these APIs, this smart contract definition, into an actual instance. We want to deploy it onto the blockchain. So I'm going to use a human-friendly naming convention, and I'm going to instantiate the contract with an initial state of 99. Click Try. And this will create our first instantiation, our first contract deployment on Kaleido. And of course, all of this is accomplishable programmatically with a basic node program or Python program with a Swagger client embedded inside of it. 
So we can close out of this view, we can close this, and now we see we have a gateway API and we have an instance of those methods of that smart contract. We can now view this instance and we can do queries or we can upsert a new value for our global variable. So we can call our get method and we expect to see back 99, which we do. And now we can upsert a different value using our set method. Kaleido allows you to enumerate any signing account, whether this is held in a cloud HSM service, whether this account is on the node, or whether the account is an ancillary Ethereum wallet service or an HD wallet service that Kaleido provides. You can submit these transactions synchronously or asynchronously, and if you're using Quorum or Hyperledger Basu, these can also be private transactions. We'll have much more details on the REST API gateway, transaction submission and signing techniques, and subsequent demos that we're releasing here. So we'll create our second transaction. The first was the deployment. The second was the invocation of the method inside of this smart contract. And now we have two transactions on our blockchain. And we'll go ahead and look at our block explorer to look a little more closely at these transactions. So here we have our data explorer within the scope of our environment. And we can click on the smart contracts tab and we can see our existing smart contract deployed against the simple storage gateway API and we can even see the specific transactions within the scope of that smart contract. We see the single one that we just invoked, calling the set method and passing an argument of 25 to that smart contract. And Kaleido has a rich, rich set of health and monitoring, um, block explorers, transaction explorers, so that you as an administrator, as an operator, have a holistic overview and full line of sight into all of the health and all of the resources that are existing on your blockchain. What I've done right now in the background is I've actually submitted, I've used a Go program that we have to submit a lot of transactions coming into the chain. So we can see in real time the submission of batches of 40 transactions that are going to be injected into the blockchain. So we have full line of sight into everything that's happening at the chain layer and at our core runtime layers as well, uh, which we'll look at here in just a second after our last, last batch comes in. So there we see 40 more transactions come into the network, and now we have health and monitoring for all of the core resources that we have in Kaleido. We can see the dashboard, which is going to show us the runtimes and um, the performance of our critical resources, our system monitor node, which helps do the indexing for our block explorer, and then our core runtimes, our nodes, which are going to execute and um, accept connections from your applications and execute those transactions. There are a litany of other services that are available um, baked into the platform or as pluggable deployable services from our marketplace. These include storage utilities, um, private document store integrations, uh, a lot of work around digital assets and tokens. Uh, and We'll cover all of these in subsequent demos, but for now this was meant to be just a simple high-level overview of how easy it is to create a network, create an environment, and use some of the Kaleido techniques to very, very simply submit some initial transactions into the blockchain um, and interact with your private, permissioned Kaleido Ethereum network. So thanks for watching this, and we will cover all of the other topics and all the other components in subsequent demos.